Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this X1 X Drive 20D M Sport. This car is finished off in Alpine White and this is a September 2018 registered vehicle. It's nice options selected in this particular vehicle, which I'll run through with you now and highlight some of the standard features. This obviously being the M Sport model, we have that more aggressive M Sport styling, really shown off by this front bumper. There's lower vents and scoops. This inspiration taken from the M range of vehicles, but in the everyday car. Obviously, this is the X Drive variant of the X1, so that is the four drive system from BMW. A link to that 20D, 2 litre diesel turbocharged engine. Move around, we've got the 18 inch double spoke M alloy. So being the M Sport model as well, we have the lower skirts, sills down there, lovely high gloss black shadow line finish around the windows, very slick look and appearance to the vehicle, ties in with the roof rails as well. Round to the rear of the car, power tailgate, uh, power tailgate as standard on this generation of X1, operated by the key like I've just done. It's also a button underneath the roundel badge and a button by the driver's door. Very practical inside, got that 40 20 40 split folding seat arrangement. Also got some handy buttons on the left and right hand side so you can drop the seats down from the back of the car. So if you've got any large items, that through low can be capability, you just be put in from the back. Lovely flat load service as well. This false floor underneath, normally be a bit extra space, but this particular previous customer opted for the spare wheel option. Get out there which you can see below. It's got the Space Saver spare wheel there. I'll see the jack kit on the left and that first aid kit's down there as well. Also additional 12 volt socket there. Handy cubby hold of the storage net. Bag holders. So a very practical space inside the back of the X1. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. It's got one of my favorite interiors on here so this is the standard m sport interior so this is called the micro hexagon and anthracite alcantara finish so beautiful the alcantara finish like a suede very soft material and then the lovely detail this hexagon pattern and the estral blue stitching as well runs through the headrests some of the details this is what material you see in the v Special edition versions of our M products, like the MC and Free ACS, things like that. Beautiful C on the standard M cars as well. Rear passengers also have ventilation controls in the centre here, along with that 12 volt socket for charging mobile devices. Also in the rear, the rear seat is actually a bench seat, so it can actually be slid forward. So if you don't need the extra sort of leg space, or if you've got child seats in here, so you don't need the leg space, this bench seat is going to actually slide forward, give you a bit more boot capacity. Also, the backrest tilt as well, so they've got a tilt function, so a bit like the, how the front seats do, you can adjust the backrest of the second row seats. Moving into the front of the car. So the same finish, that micro hexagon, Amphasite Alcantara through the seats. Obviously in the front we've got the beautiful M Sport seats as well, so a lot more side bolster support. Actually adjustable side bolsters as well with airbags in both front seats. You can inflate and deflate those to get a real snug fit. And lots of great adjustment as well, tilt base mechanism, leg extension. Truly really get a very comfortable driving position. Into the car, let's get the car started up. Get a few things fired into life. So we've got the dials in front of us. I've got a digital speed readout here at the bottom as well, so that can be configured going for the different menu screen. So let me see that focus. Let's toggle through different driving information there. And also, as I mentioned, there's a speed limit display, which just popped up then at 10 miles an hour. Just to give you a bit more information about the road, let me turn that fan down. Moving across the central screen, 
got the BMW ID6 system here. These six tiles, if I zoom out, we can see it's a bit better. Um, they're called live tiles, so these are always working behind the scenes. Even if you've not got navigation active or working, it's always working behind the scenes. Just make things very slick. Here's a touchscreen, very handy when you're part or from a passing point of view. But we've also got a fantastic voice activation system to interact with this system, as well as the very much tried and tested BMW iDrive dial as well. Lots of different connections there as well, from digital radio, CD play built in, Bluetooth audio, and USB input. Moving on down, we've got the CD player here with the favourite buttons, that 1 to 8. So they're presets to the vehicle, you can save that for anything on the iDrive. So whether it's a menu, a phone number, navigational information, very easy just to get things stored and saved on there, just by a touch of a button. Choose on climate control. So both front passengers can dial in there. The climate and temperature perfectly. And also the freeway heated front seats. We're both from passengers there as well. We've got the additional cup holders down there as well. And it's also a 12 volt socket up there as well if you need to charge any mobile devices. We've got the fantastic sports automatic gearbox as well selecting this vehicle. I'll see back into drive there. Very easy to flick it across into the sports auto and then you've got a manual mode so you can either use the gear lever here to select your gear or the paddles on the steering wheel to take manual control of the car. As mentioned before, got the iDrive dial there, got the, favorite, the fast buttons there to quickly access things like the map or the media. Automatic handbrake, then we go up, got the hill descent on, the, on all the X products. This car's also got the front and rear parking sensors and park assistant, which I'll show you shortly. Then you got the different driving modes there and the traction control button. So as I mentioned before, this car's got the front and rear parking sensors, pop up there. Also, there's the audio tone, this great visual guide as well in the center with the sensors. And there's also a park assist function where you can push the button and the car will help you find a parallel parking space big enough for the vehicle and also help you with the maneuver as well. A little bit Estral Blue finisher underneath this aluminium trim. Lovely design pattern on there. I'll just get a bit more focus. Almost ties in very nicely with the micro hexagon finish on the seats. And also that one's for the door cards as well. Customers also have the additional interior lighting option as well. So there's an ambient lighting package, can't see it today, a bit bright, but at night you get light strips across the top of that interior trim piece, in the front and back, across the central dash, in other areas in the footwells. Um, just really just lift the cabin. Um, a real nice little touch where we can show you the interior lighting so you got the brightness there you've got two different colors sport being white classic being orange just lifts the ambience of the vehicle at night and a lovely little touch as you can see this car has 25,035 miles on the clock this is a september 2017 registered vehicle and it's been a one owner car originally purchased for ourselves and like I said, just recently in power exchange. It's lovely to see it back. Just finishing up the steering wheel, we've got the cruise control and speed limit control here on the left. The audio, volume control, phone answering, and the voice activation button there as well. I hope this video has been of use. If you do require any further information, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.